What's going on everyone? It's Coach Elias on the brand new Fortunes Keep map. This is a live commentary, which means I'm gonna go ahead and just be talking about the reasons for my positionings, why am I making certain decisions, and overall, this is my first time playing on this map, so hopefully we can get some good tips and tricks going. All right, so right away we can understand that the game is probably gonna end somewhere right in the middle of the circle, so it's probably gonna be around Town, Grotto, one of those. Um, looking at this fly space right here, so a lot of people are probably going to land at like keep, winery, lighthouse. I think I'm just going to, you know, keep my distance and play close to these buy stations out here. Also get a bounty just so I at least have an idea of where people are going to be. We don't know where the hot landing is going to be just yet, but hopping right in. Got one guy on me. So just got to grab a gun. All right, there we go. This guy didn't see me. Nice, easy kill. Get this reload. Another person came in. Absolutely. And right there, that's all I all you have to do is whenever you get it down, you have about three to five, or sorry. Whenever you get a person down, you have about five seconds to like, you know, plate up, reload, and then go right back to that dead body and go get your kill. Oh, I missed so many shots on that guy. Alright, so right there, I was using an SMG at the super long range, and this guy used an automaton. Really unfortunate. If you did see, every single time I miss a shot, I out aim and aim right back in. That's a very important skill that a lot of people need to build. Because once you out aim and aim back in, you reset your aim assist. I hear a person on me to my left, gonna check. Almost world starred me, but fortunately we're good. I have a Type 100 now, a nice SMG. This guy's flying right back in. He's gonna land on his body again. Nice, there we go. And I'm also honestly trying to go for a win right now, not necessarily, oh. Just don't panic, never panic whenever you get shot. Right there, I also heard that he was using a uh, pistol, so I knew I could just easily turn on him. All right, dang, I'm getting a lot of kills right now. I actually do enjoy using the Whitley. Oh, someone just stole my kill up towards my left, so I have to be worried about this guy. There he is. That's the guy I was worried about. Oh, no. I died to the exact same guy, and he's using the Blitzen. Right here, he had a really good head glitch. I really just had to land more shots, and unfortunately, it feels like he just won that because he had a better SMG. One thing about the Blixen, it is so overpowered, you need to unlock it and use it. If you want a gun that kills fast, it's the Blixen. All right, we're going to go ahead and just land somewhere new. Um, I don't want to land near that guy anymore because he's been winning every single gunfight against me. That's the second time I lost a gunfight to that guy. Whenever you lose a gunfight to the same guy, what you need to do is just ignore him. Just don't, you know, go toward that area anymore. Go ahead and get a plate on. This guy should rotate eventually, but what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to try to get to high ground. Um, you really want to make sure you get to high ground because you're always able to... I'm actually getting sniped at right now. <laughs> uh, so whenever you get sniped at, you just want to leave. But the whole point of getting to high ground right here is I get to just, like, you know, scout the area. Move over here. It looks like I could, do a, I could do a hop up spot right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. There's a person right here. Oh, I really thought I was going to be able to get that kill off. But everyone right now have their loadouts. They're using Owen Guns, Blixens. I've been using Forward, and I'm not winning a lot of gunfights right now. So I'm just going to stay in the air until I do get my actual loadout. I see that enemy. Oh, it was a bird. But right now, I'm uh, just staying in the distance, you know, trying to get uh, some info down. I see two people right there. Loadout's going to be coming in in 15 seconds. It's going to land on top of the roof, which is going to be really nice. Hopefully, it doesn't bounce off didn't bounce off but I bounce off great all right let's see if I could get to this rooftop all right getting to this rooftop is gonna be a little interesting but it looks like you just have to get to this bell tower get to this window and then hop out and then you're good to go all right finally I have my weapons really excited hopefully I don't get sniped or anything and I saw one guy out here rotating towards here in this direction. So that's what I'm looking for. I'm going to treat myself like I'm the, in the middle of a clock because I have high ground. And I'm able to uh, look just out into the distance and get shots on enemies. 
I'm gonna go ahead and just lay down, not panic, pop a stim, and then just get out of here. Because I really need to find plates right now before I, before I fight anyone. Um, I'm just gonna head over to this buy station and buy plates, just because I'm not sure where, you know, uh, boxes are gonna be. But usually you can start memorizing where boxes spawn. Such as in that building, there's gonna always pretty much be a box spawning right there. Where I first got that. Um, where I first died. Oh, easy kill right here. There we go. Almost got away, but just got to aim for the head. I'm just going to go see if I could grab his loot real quick. Making sure I'm safe. My eyes are looking high ground, by the way. Whenever I'm traveling, my eyes are always looking in the sky because that's normally where people play. All right. Want to get to high ground again. This is a little bit scary climbing up steps. This is an interesting part of the map. Um, but once again, we're back to high ground where you can just start scouting out the area you know, see if you could shoot people from the distance. I see a guy all the way out there. And I think I'm going to go for that kill. So, one kill that I always go for is flying in the air. And this is how you want to do it. When you're flying in the air, you immediately pull your parachute. Line up your white dot with the enemy. So that's the enemy right there. And then you just start shooting. Uh, that guy died to my left. There's a guy down here towards the left somewhere. Oh. I'm not going to... I'm just going to leave this guy right here because he's probably going to play up close. And I have the gas right now. I'm not going to fight him inside the gas. I'm just going to push out and just watch him push out. See, just like this. All I did was I rotated out, and now he landed up right in front of me. I can grab his loot now. And I can hopefully get out of here. And I'm going to rotate clockwise right now. I'm going to try to rotate clockwise because it looks like on my map, that's how I can get to high ground. Like I said, high ground is king. I think I heard running to my right, so I'm just going to be quiet for a few seconds. I guess there's no more running. And I'm going all the way around. I'm, I'm always making sure I'm, you know, playing with the gas. Just because whenever you play with the gas and you run with the glass, you never have to really worry about, you know, what's on your left. You only need to worry about what's in front of you. But dang, I really need ammo. So I guess we got to really loot up. I want to see where the game is ending right now because we're down to the third circle. And... Because I was looking, I got sniped. Of course. All right, let's see this guy. <laughs> um, I still try to stay moving whenever you're looking at the map so you avoid that from happening. Unfortunately, it still happened either way. All right. That, that's the guy who sniped me right there, so I'm going to go ahead and land on my loot. Or at least that should be the guy. Awesome. That guy uh, had an LMG right there. Unfortunately, he had zero mobility. I have mobility. So with a simple left-right strafe, I easily get that kill. Uh, it looks like you could go down low. And I'm actually going to go down here and see. Wow. Why is this a part of the map? This is actually insane that this is all down below. Um, I Right now, I hear boxes. Because I hear boxes... Usually that indicates that this is a safe area and no one hasn't been here for quite a bit. So right now all I'm doing is just looting up, looting up, looting up. But again, I always want to worry about getting to high ground. I'm getting hunted right now and I actually see a balloon right here that I could take. Now before I take this balloon, I really need to figure out where I'm going to land. And I'm probably going to land somewhere here where it's a very tall building and once i need to rotate i can go ahead and just leave and rotate i'm also gonna wait for the gas to end right now um once this gas closes it's gonna show me another uh end circle and seeing those end circles are really important pretty sure this guy is hunting me right now he's like sniping yeah, i'm pretty sure he's like sniping right there all right, I'm in a bad spot where two people are, like, shooting at each other. I'm just going to go ahead and zip line out of here. Yeah, there's three people. No! Ugh. 
so unfortunate. 12th place. First time ever playing Fortune's Keep. Really, really fun. Right there, there was three different people shooting on my mini-map. I could have either sat there and just waited and tried to get some of those kills, or I could have flew out. I had low ground the entire time. I hate low ground, so I would have flew out towards this building out here, have high ground, and I would have just played for the win, pretty much. Um, but this is my first time playing Fortune's Keep. I can't wait to learn the map more. Ideally, memorize windows, doorways, hop-ups, and start flowing around the map a lot better. Uh, specifically, rotating around the map and getting a win. Um, so, unfortunately, no win today, but thank you for everyone who stopped by. I will get back to you with another video, and ideally, a win in the next one. So, thank you so much. I hope you all have a great day. Thank you, and peace.